You know, the month of April has marked 37 years since Marilyn Joy Bass was murdered. Known as Joy to her friends and family, the 22-year-old brought life and love to everyone. With most of her family now gone, 2 News anchor Sharon Phillips shows how her childhood friend is left to fight for justice in this Oklahoma cold case file. It was April 9th, 1987, and Marilyn Joy Bass, known as Joy to her friends and family, was living here at this apartment complex. It was called the Pepper Ridge Apartments at the time. She had gone down to do laundry at the laundromat, and that's when her friends and family say she disappeared. A little bit later, you know, her boyfriend and her friend went to look for her, and they found the car with the keys in the ignition, and the laundry was still in the dryer. When they got there, Charlotte Autry is Joy's childhood best friend. She remembers Joy's laughter and zest for life. She was just so beautiful, and um, she had so much to live for, you know, so much life in her and so much talent. Charlotte's heart sank when Joy's body was discovered 10 days later at the bottom of Bragg Mountain in Muskogee County. Investigators tell me she had been strangled. And I can't imagine anybody looking into that beautiful face and choking the life out of her. I just can't imagine. It feels seems like that's a personal death. Although the Tulsa Police Department initially investigated her disappearance, Lieutenant Brandon Watkins told 2 News the case wasn't well documented at the time and he didn't have a lot of information. Along with TPD, the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation featured Joy on an OSBI initiative called the Cold Case Playing Cards Program. This is Joy's cold case featured on the playing cards that are distributed to prison inmates in hopes of finding new leads. It's just been such a tragedy that nothing has, you know, that has not been solved. And there's a whole community of people who grieve her and, and miss her. It can't just sit idle. Her mother's gone, her father's gone, her brother's gone, and her sister is gone. Audrey says she won't stop fighting for justice, for joy, and hopes her murder will be solved. She was just taken away as so young, and we have to give her a voice. We have to be the voice for her, and there has to be justice for Joy. Sharon Phillips, 2 News, Oklahoma.